the term haptics refers to force feedback and uh, the sense of touch. And uh, uh, for example, if you uh, use a computer, often you interact with computer through a mouse, computer mouse. Uh, but just imagine that whatever you see inside the computer, if you were able to actually touch and feel. Uh, for example, if we take the case of uh, training for epidural procedure, inserting needle into uh, one's body uh, using a computer mouse, you cannot feel uh, the insertion force. Whereas through the use of a haptic device holding a stylus, you can actually feel uh, as you are inserting the needle into the flesh. So one can divide it into three areas. One is uh, human haptics, and uh, second is uh, computer haptics, and third is uh, machine haptics. There is a great synergy between haptics and uh, robotics. Uh, we have designed and developed uh, back drivable uh, robots, uh, and you can feel the forces as robot uh, being operated in an environment. And at the same time, we have integrated haptic devices the, with robots, so we can create greater degree of telepresence and uh, immersion for operators. The three A are highly integrated and uh, you have to have understanding of the, all of the three areas, whether it is human haptics, uh, machine haptics or computer haptics. Um, we have been developing, uh, designing and developing models, for example, what we call it modeling theme. And in the area of modeling, we are looking at soft tissue modeling, uh, modeling of viscoelastic material, uh, needle insertion, modeling, uh, and so on, uh, which can be used both for uh, biological and non-biological systems. And uh, some of the uh, application for these areas of haptics is virtual training. The research in the area of robotics within our center focuses on a couple of areas. Uh, one is industrial robots, whether they are uh, design and development of new controllers for industrial robots or for the next generation of industrial robots, such as uh, uh, parallel kinematics and uh, uh, or being in mobile platforms. In particular, our uh, research in the area of mobile platform uh, has been on um, systems where it can climb staircase, it can go under vehicle, it can pull large loads, and it can be haptically teleoperated and be telemanipulated. And uh, this has a lot of application both for defense, uh, law enforcement, and uh, manufacturing. A lot of research uh, internationally, they've been focusing on single point haptics and one of our major focus has been on development of uh, multi-point haptics and uh, in particular we have designed and developed a system uh, which focuses around the concept of multi-point haptics because when we interact uh, with objects we normally use more than a single point. We want to grasp, uh, turn, twist objects whether it is a biological object or uh, metallic or, uh, or synthetic and so on. Uh, therefore, our area of research has been focusing how we can increase this uh, force reflection and fidelity and also uh, pre telepresence uh, in the area of haptics. We have applied haptics at the macro level, meaning that we have integrated a haptic device with a robot for teleoperation, telepresence. But we see another area which is equally important uh, and especially in future becomes very important is where haptic devices, they are integrated to atomic force microscopes so we can achieve micro manipulation and nano manipulation. And uh, so whatever atomic force microscope can see and, 
uh, we can use a haptic device to manipulate touch and feel what uh, AFM can see. It is possible in future, uh, uh, through the use of this technology, to uh, bring micro part particles together and manipulate and build new devices, new drugs, and perhaps one day to create uh, patient-specific medication through this technology once it is fully automated and perhaps having uh, factories at uh, micro-nano level producing uh, these kind of items.